You see, my friends? That's right. And the reason why I'm preaching the truth uh, is that Jesus, uh, he preached the truth in force. Yes. So he says what, Rita? Stand up for the truth of God. Obey it. Preach it. Defend it. Come on, somebody say praise amen, the Lord. Amen, amen. Stand for the truth. What do you say? Stand for righteousness. Stand for justice. When you stand for God, He's gonna stand for you. Amen. When you reject God, He's gonna reject you. That's right. Yes. So stand for truth. And I told you some night ago, even though they laugh at you, let them laugh. You know that you're doing the right thing by the grace of God. And if God be for you, no man can be against you. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. So Matthew 6 and verse 24 says what, reader? No man can serve two masters. Uh -huh. For either he will hate the one. Uh-huh and love the other uh -huh. or else you will what? hold to the one uh -huh. and despise the other uh -huh. ye cannot serve god and mammon folks you can't have truth on one hand and lie on the other hand that's right either you choose either you say tonight i'm gonna throw away truth and go to hell with lie hmm. or say i'm gonna throw away lie and go to heaven with truth. What do you say? Yes. But the choice is yours and nobody cannot force you. And that is why I don't believe in forcing people to be baptized. That's right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You make up that mind on your own. Yes. And when you make up your mind, you say, it was not the preacher who forced me, but I made it up on my mind, or rather on my own, because I saw truth, I heard truth, and I accepted truth, and now I'm going to follow truth in Jesus' name. Do you say somebody? Amen, amen. And so Ephesians 4 and verse 4 says what? There is one body uh -huh. and one spirit, uh -huh. just as you were called in one hope, of your calling friends i say tonight that god is one what do you say amen god is not divided amen god is one he has one church yes. one baptism what do you say yes. one faith and he has called you into one call what do you say tonight amen. so god is not a god of confusion i don't believe that god will confuse his children god wants us to walk in righteousness amen. and truth tonight that's right. Your salvation is at stake tonight. You are between truth and error, light and darkness. A true church and a false church. You stand between. You need to make that choice tonight. Yes. And forget about people. It says what, reader? Jesus wants us against the counterfeit you remember one day they had a lot of counterfeit dollars u.s dollars yes remember that? Mm -hmm. and so every store that you you go to they have it up in the air and then they have some mark and they pass on it yes they want to know no one of it's real yes you need to test everything by the word of God. What do you say? Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. By the word of God. Oh, yes. God warns us about against counterfeit mm -hmm. because he knew that the devil will try to double cross him. Yes. He knew that every truth that he presented, the devil would come in for lie. Yes. And so Satan counterfeits everything tonight. That's right. What do you That's say? Right. He says what, reader? For light he has darkness. For light he has what? Darkness. darkness. For? For truth. He has what? He has error. Error. For marriage. He has what? He has common law. Common law. Or man if man. Or woman if woman. Mercy. For seventh day. He has what? He has first The first day. Everything the devil has a counterfeit. Everything he has a counterfeit and he's trying to confuse your poor mind. I want to say tonight if truth comes knocking at your door, open the door and Amen. let Jesus in tonight. Oh, yes. 
Amen. Matthew 24 verse 24 says what? For false Christ uh -huh. and false prophets will uh -huh. rise uh -huh. and show great signs and wonders uh -huh. to deceive. It says what? In, 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 Beware uh -huh. of false prophets uh -huh. who come to you in sheep's clothing, uh -huh. but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. Mercy. When they dress nice, their shoes match the belt. Hmm. And the tie match the jacket. Hmm. And they stand before you and begin to whisper sweet things. Hmm. Sweet nothings. When John the Baptist was preaching, he was he, he, he dressed in what? In some old rags. Yes. And the people rejected him. And oftentimes we love to follow nice things. Yes, sir. And God is saying, be aware of false prophet who comes in, in, in sheep's clothing. Yes, sir. I told you tonight uh, that when the truth comes, sometimes uh, the truth hurts uh, and you know it is truth. Uh, but, but many times uh, pride is in the way like Naaman we spoke about yesterday. That's right. It says what now the what reader? The average person uh -huh. is confused with this bewildering array of churches. Too many churches. Too many. This one say that one. That one say this one. This mm. one say... Mercy. But everything the Adventist church is preaching comes from the word of God. Praise what do you say? Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. We Hallelujah. preach everything and we show it to you on the screen. Amen. It comes from the word of God. We are not preaching our own thing. We are That's preaching right. what God has inspired us to preach. What do you say? Amen. Come on, somebody. And, and, and God will hold every preacher accountable. That's right. Oh, yes. Every preacher who is leading people astray, God is going to hold them accountable. Yes. One writer says, one of our writers inspired by God in the great controversy, a book I just gave up tonight, she says in the last days when Jesus comes down, God is going to reveal to them the whole truth uh, and, every uh, and everywhere they heard the truth uh, and they're going to run to the pastors uh, and they're going to say, you did not tell us. Mm. Too late. And I'm telling you tonight uh, the truth that God wants you to come out of error, of unrighteousness. Uh, he says, come out of her, my people. Amen. Now say tonight, my friends, that God has only one church upon this earth. That's right. Why are there so many churches? Hmm. Read it, it says what? Does God have a people on earth today called his church? Yes or no? Oh, yes. Revelation 2 verse 1 says what? There appeared a great wonder uh -huh. in heaven. Uh -huh. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet mm -hmm. and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pained to be delivered. Let me say something tonight. A woman in prophecy represents the church. What do you say? Yes. The white church, the true church. Right. The 12 crowns on the head, the 12 tribes of Israel, what do you say? Oh, yes. When the Bible says that the woman was, 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 was with a child, was with a child, it is talking about the, the church of God, the, the people of God. She birthed a church. Mm -hmm. And when she birthed that church, the devil got upset. Yes. And he tried to what? Destroy right. the church. Yes. It's like when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. what, this, uh, what, what, what did Pilate say? He says, go ahead and kill all the firstborn. Herod, but, Herod, but, but Herod. God, Rosado, Herod, but God is always what? 
a step ahead That's and so right. Herod says go and kill all the firstborn and, and, and so God said to Mary and Martha rather Mary and Joseph leave go into Egypt oh yes the devil knows what he's doing yes sir Revelation 12 verse 3 says and rather they, we, we read that it says what they, okay read for me please read it says what and there appeared uh, another wonder, wonder in heaven. In heaven. Mm -hmm. And behold, a great red dragon. The great red dragon is the devil. Yes. The woman in white is the true church. That's right. Come on, somebody. Yes. The great red dragon is the false church. Mm -hmm. It says what? Having seven heads uh -huh. and the ten horns. And the seven crowns upon his head. This yes. is the beast that John saw. Mercy. It says what? And, his, and what? his tail uh -huh. drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. Remember I told you some night that the devil deceived one third of the angels? Yes. Huh? yes. His tail! Mm -hmm. He deceived one third of the angels. Perfect beings. Yes, he deceived them. Now, if the devil can deceive perfect being, what about you and I? Mercy. Huh? We are mercy. sinners. And if the devil can deceive angels who never sinned, oh. I was born in sin and what? Shaping in iniquity. iniquity. 